Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 notification video. On this video, we're gonna take a look at the daily challenges and see what we gotta do in order to make some atoms. So let's stop wasting time and jump right into it. Alright, so let's take a look at what we got on the menu. Today the, the challenges should have reset like 16 16 minutes ago. I haven't yet to take a look at them. Oh. Adam shop man. I always click that button. Alright, there we go. So claim a workshop. Any workshop. Super easy. There we go. We're gonna get it done. Uh, kill a Deathclaw on Deathclaw Island. Also pretty simple enough. Then we've got kill a legendary enemy at the Fisher site. This one is gonna be a little bit harder. Especially for the new players. Then... Hold on. Let me deal with those cockroaches. Man, I really don't like when I'm talking and some cockroaches shooting, man. Anyway, let's continue. So if we go back to the challenges tab, we have level up while and we have over here a list of sub challenges. So you can complete this in two ways. First way is the one I use is collabing things. So if you level up and complete any of these challenges, three of them, at the same time as you level up, you will get additional 10 atoms on top. Or you can level up, do one thing, level up, do another thing, level up, do another thing, right? Three levels up and one of these things and you're done. So we, what we gotta do is uh, level up while engaged in PvP, while diseased, while healing an axe, well tuned, well rested, exploring nuke region, in caves, mines, wearing a full clown suit, wearing sleepwear, wear, uh, level up uh, the workshop under level 20 and level 76 or higher. So what I'm gonna do is level 76 or higher, full clown suit, and well tuned or well rested, well I usually have the well rested one. Well rested is when you sleep on the bed, you get the 5 XP boost, so I pretty much never go adventuring without that boost and uh, the full clown suit I always have it on me if you don't know where to get it I will show you where to get it in this video once we once I've shown it all of this stuff so uh, next in nuclear winter use six stamp packs and you're gonna get yourself perk cards I'm actually thinking I'm actually streaming nuclear winter today but I'm not I'm still not hundred percent certain make my want to make my first stream on mixer for nuclear winter and see how it goes but anyway that's just I'm not even sure if I'll be able to stream today, but I hope I will. Then scrub junk to produce springs. So let's start with the easiest one, which is scrub junk to produce springs. So first of all, you can buy springs from vendors. Second of all, once you have springs, what you can do is you can go to any uh, Tinker workbench and navigate to the bulk menu, uh, scroll down, click springs, get the springs, bulk it, go to your junk, scrap it. Done. <laughs> now, next challenge, uh, we're, well, I'm gonna do, and, well, I usually capture, uh, like, this workshop or the high level zone, but uh, if you're a new player, you can start capturing the George Junkyard or this one. I would actually recommend the Sunshine Midwo's Industrial Farm for a reason, because it will give you food. Alright, so essentially once you come to the workshop, uh, most of you already know this, you'll need to clear the area and kill all the cockroaches that are guarding it, right? In our case, it's gonna be the ghouls. So you kill them all. Once you kill them, you'll get additional uh, rewards for completing the clear out section, which will then allow you to uh, actually capture it, right? So run through and you're gonna need to find all the ghouls first right then once you've captured the workshop you will need to oh I didn't know that this horse is here that horsey by the way right here gives you springs and it gives you uh, screws and a lot of screws so this horsey over here is a real good horsey uh, where is it so we see that it gives gears, steel, two springs, and three screws. That is nice. <laughs> Alright, and more screws. Sweet. So, then once you've killed most of the creatures on the map, you will have indicator that you have just a few left. What's wrong with my controls today? You finish them off. So, I have uh, two more cockroaches left. We're almost done. So, probably upstairs now. Where are you? On the roof? How the hell did you get on the roof? Can I get there? 
Man, I haven't been here in ages. So, you come over here, kill this guy, kill that guy. Here's another tip. Uh, you don't really have to go to the actual workshop to start the capture process. Uh, you can start capturing right off the bat. On Xbox is this button right here. I don't know how it's called. It's the one to your left when you're holding it. If you hold it, bam, you start the capturing process. So once that tick timer comes up, you will capture the workshop. <laughs> and you will get your atoms. <laughs> there you go. So afterwards you will need to connect it to this thing right here and you'll start getting food. Although I don't really remember what type of food. I think it's uh, sugar bombs if I'm not mistaken. As I told you guys, I haven't been here in a very, very long time. Unfortunately you won't have this fusion generator. So you just power it and bam, there it goes. Uh, when I was low level I would spam the generators that I had in order to make that thing work. I think this one was the one that was spamming its five. So you will need to place these ones down and connect them all and then connect it to that thing and you're going to start getting food. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's see what else we got. Uh, kill Deathclaw the Deathclaw Island. Okay, the low levels as well. Well, not super low level, but if you're like um, above level 10-ish and you have some firepower... Actually, you know what, stim packs and you'll be able to kill kill them. This game is not that hard, to be honest. Death Claws and Fallout 4 are way more dangerous when I used to play that game. Not for a long time, but they were definitely more dangerous than what they are here. Especially in survival mode, you know what I mean? <laughs> so basically, once you fast travel, you cross the river, you run here, and there's your Death Claw. You might not even see him. If you don't see him, just still walk up here. He's going to jump out. And you finish him. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Thank you very much. What else do we have on the menu? On the menu, we have the final thing is killing a uh, Scorch Beast at the Fisher site. So, these are the Fisher sites, and I usually go to the high level area. Unfortunately, if you're low level, definitely you will not be able to complete this. But if you see people there, jump, shoot it, and you will complete it. Uh, if they will kill it next to the Fisher site, that's the thing. So, this one is going to be a pretty tough one. Alright, I'm lucky to find a, a Scorch Beast, but I'm unlucky that it's kind of a little bit far away. Okay, now he landed, which is a really bad spot because I need to lure that guy right over here. This is the Fisher site, so he needs to be as close as possible over here. So, oh, there he comes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, you don't. My new wife actually did some good damage. I'm surprised with no perk cards turned on damage. I'm trying to make a balance build of a balanced mule build where you can carry a lot of stuff, not die too hard, <laughs> and uh, also deal good amount of damage. Say hello to my new wifey. Her name, a jealous type wifey. And there is a reason why. I looted it today <laughs> when I used it. A back bug happened. I was not able to use any other weapons. It would deselect any weapon that I would select. Like, it, it was crazy. So, if you watched my uh, second episode for uh, crafting the Secret Service uh, video, uh, I've shown a clip over there how that happened. So, this is my new wifey. And I looted it today on the stream. It was also a funny case story, story because uh, a New Zealand member came in. He was asking, "Do you have bloody plasma or rifles?" I'm like, "No, I gave all, I gave them away." And as soon as I believe he stopped chatting and left, I, I looted it from a ghoul in White Springs. <laughs> it's crazy. And these streams are getting like luckier and luckier. Anyway, let's go. All right. So as I said, to get the clown suit, that's the final part that I'm going to be showing here. You'll need to go to Freddy Fears House of Scares. So once you come here, you're going to have a whole bunch of ghouls and
I'm not even gonna cut this out. You had a good laugh? Cause I ain't laughing. <laughs> Cockroach game, man. <laughs> I always get killed when I'm making a stupid video. What the hell? Oh. My mule needs a little bit more damage. Resistance. This is crazy. I think shotgun. Let's see if I'll be able to find any other good mod. Dangerous place. So basically. There's the hat. Get up my back, man! What the hell you want from me? Can't you see I'm busy? Oh my god! Stupid cockroach! There's your skull mask over there, and there's your outfit over there. You got it all. Oh, what is that? Okay. <laughs> By the way, there should be a gum here somewhere. There it is. Always take the bubble gums. Sometimes we get challenges to eat five and get ten atoms, so make sure to take those. Alright, Z Clan and everybody else, this is what we're gonna be calling at the end for this video. So I hope you enjoyed the show, and if you didn't know drill, don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, nobody read them, nobody can reply to them, even me. So if you want replies to your comments and people to read your comments, please make sure not to drop any f bombs in it. If you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine, so hi from Ukraine, and I hope you found this video useful. By the way, if you want to join a really cool and active community, feel free to join our Discord. We read the rules. We do ban people for those who do not follow the rules. Spamming, f bombing, that's no go. Keep it proud. Honor and respect, and you're good. <laughs> Go to the get started section, select Z that you agree with the rules, you'll get access to the general chat, select the platform that you play on, so it'll be easier for you to team up with someone, and select the games that you play, so you'll get access to the chats of the specific game that you select. So for example, if you play 76, click on 76, and you'll get 76 chats. If you play uh, Warzone, click on Warzone, and you'll get access to Warzone chats. So that's how it is. Also, if you like watching streams on Mixer, or you want to give a try Mixer, I just started streaming on Mixer. This is, I had today my third stream, so if you want to catch one of my streams, the link is down below in the video description. We're currently testing out Mixer, and to be honest, so far, so far, so good. I'm still learning what other Im features I can implement on, on Mixer to make the streams a little bit more entertaining, and some more updates are coming to discord once I do all of that those updates I think I'm gonna have to take one day uh, the discord will be on maintenance and I'll add everything in one place and make a video on how to use the discord so we have a lot of changes coming but that is of course if I manage to find all the necessary tools to accomplish that so in any case I'll always let you know in the chats on discord etc so Z clan and everybody else hope you found it useful had a few laughs I'll catch you on the next one Man, where am I? Ain't that pop cake? <laughs> See you soon. Bye. From the ashes we rose into the future we'll go.